Hello, everybody. Um, it seems like I'm posting a lot of videos lately, and it's because I am. Um, I have another machine that I just recently stumbled across. Um, and I guess I should probably point out, in one of my previous videos, I said I can be irresponsible. I get irresponsible. I always pay my bills. I have money and things like that when I need it. But um, I get a little irresponsible when I see something that I really want and I know that I can afford it, but in all honesty, I don't, in all honesty, I don't need it. Um, and that happens to be a lot of vacuum cleaners. And uh, there's a machine that I have wanted for a little while now that I just have not purchased because it was, you know, a little pricey um, and... It really wasn't super important that I ever owned one, but I wanted one before they stopped selling them. And it happens to be um, a machine that popped up on Craigslist. Um, every once in a while I pop on there and see that's um, how I got my SIBO. Uh, my SIBO was an estate sale machine and it had only been used twice. Um, and I ended up getting that for $150. And I'm a big, um, sorry, I just like to feel this carpet every once in a while. Um, I'm a big Craig, like a deal hunter. And, um, the only downfall about buying from Craigslist is of course there's no returns and such, but I'd always wanted a Panasonic machine before they stopped selling them in the U S and I'd always wanted one of the platinum, uh, Optiflow Triforce machines. And I'm not talking like one of their older style. I'm talking the curvier style. They made a Carpet Pro version of it, but they made it in like a baby blue, a silver, and like this seafoam green color. And um, the baby blue was the cheaper model. And then um, the silver and the seafoam green model were higher end. They had dirt sensors and I believe they were like a 973 or something like that. Um, the, or a 975, I believe, Panasonic models. And they stopped selling them relatively quick. The bag door opened sideways. It didn't come off. And it had these dual vents that shot out from the front of the bag door. And they were a heavy, bulky machine. And they were kind of rounded in the back, but they had this nice, sleek front. Um, and they stopped making them. The closest model to it would have been the MCUG729 that they have had out for a little while now, and it's the Platinum Quiet Force. So I looked into getting one for a little while, and lo and behold, I have one now. Um, so this is the, like I said, it's the Panasonic UG729. It's a good housekeeping seal of approval machine. Um, it says that if the um, replace or refund if defective. Then it says Platinum Quiet Force, 14 inch cleaning path, easy bare floor, HEPA media filter. Um, and it has a turbo tool, which this is the um, one of the very few Panasonic um, commercial, let's say, just like a, it's a residential, but it's a commercial build machine. This is one of three in its series, maybe four. I know they made an orange model, a red model, a green model. And I believe they made a yellow model as well. But this is the only one with the nice comfy handle. Um, now this is the same handle that's on that Panasonic machine that I wanted, but they no longer sell. Um, it has your quick um, draw wand. It has a nice crevice tool here on the back. This turbo tool is the same exact turbo tool that is on my Kenmore's that I have owned in the past because it is a Panasonic Kenmore made machine, but it has a metal floor release pedal. You can see it says Panasonic, tells you the model. It doesn't, oh, made in Mexico from U.S. and foreign components. And... The bag type is U6 and U12. Damn, I should have bought those <laughs> at Walmart. I was looking around. A uh, little dust on the back. I was looking around, and uh, I knew that they sold Panasonic bags. And um, for some reason, I just didn't pick one up. 
because I saw that the bags that the man gave me that I bought this from, uh, he said that his, his parents owned this machine, um, his elderly parents, and he moved them into a nursing home so they no longer needed this machine. And I've been waiting for one of those scenarios to come up, and it finally happened to me. Um, he let me use it in his garage. Uh, he told me, yeah, well, you can just come over to our house. Um, I'll ask my wife, you know, what time's good. And he said, you know, first thing, I mean, it's 1030 in the morning. I was up there at just around like nine on the dot. Um, it was about an hour drive, but it was in a a town that, no, I've never been to, but I've been on the outskirts of neighboring towns that actually are a little further that we have to go to actually go to a mall and things. So it wasn't like it was a huge drive. And it was actually sold from an affiliate store that I bought my Mila from. Um, the same guy that owns that store, which is an Orc Clean Home Center um, that I bought my Mila from, owns another one in the next town over that is just a hometown sort of thing. Um, and you can see here that it was purchased for $463.32. I'm not going to show you like the location or anything like that or the, uh, the business card, um, because this is his receipt. And it says that it was bought on January 4th of 2014 at 11.30 in the morning. So, um, it says, dump vacuum bag when half to two-thirds full, switch level on carpet, which I do not know what that means. Um, and this is actually a little cheaper than, uh, um, Amazon that they bought this for. So sometimes you can get a good deal from a vacuum cleaner store, sometimes you can't. But those U6 bags would have worked that I saw at Walmart because I changed the bag that was in it. Um, and when I tried to do that, I put a hole, not a huge visible hole, but I, I did that. And that white... Oh, see, there's a good shot. I I punctured, like, the internal portion of the bag. <laughs> so I'm not going to use it because I don't want dust to get through. Um, and it was a bitch. To, I'm sorry, pardon my language, but it was to try and get the bag in the machine. Was not simple. Much harder than my pan or my Kenmore's have ever been. Um, so here's your dust bag, exhaust filter, your belt is listed in there, your turbo tool, all these different things. Um... And like I said, I wanted one of these before Panasonic went out of business. Hey, girly. Um, the J slot. Hmm. Uh, so, this is just like a briefing over the manual and blah, 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 blah. So, the belt reset on this thing, I just saw a picture of it. This belt reset is just a green version of what's on my Kenmore. I just, it, it shocks me, like, how similar these machines are, where you couldn't purchase a Panasonic like this at any store unless you went to a vacuum store, but you could post, or you could purchase a um, Kenmore from Sears. I do not want that on there. So it's got a pretty long cord, same material as my Kenmore, same color and everything. And I don't need anybody commenting saying, well, that's because Kenmore and Panasonic are, to, you know, sister companies. No way. I didn't know. So I'm going to test it out on this floor in here. It's one of those automatic height adjusters. The one thing, though, that I was sort of disappointed about, I drove a long way for this machine. Um, he wanted 150 I withdrew money. For some reason, I knew that banks um, spit out 20s, but the bank that I had to go to, first of all, my personal ATM was not running for some reason. So I had to go and pay an extra 350 to withdraw from a neighboring bank. And it said that it um, did withdraws in increments of five, which mine only does in increments of 20. So that was really nice. But for some stupid reason, because I knew if I, it was 150 and I took out all 20s, which is the only thing that they allow you to do at my bank, 
I was going to have to go break the money. But as soon as I saw at the neighboring bank that they did increments of five, I took out the 160 and showed up with still only 20s. So even though I thought I was doing it right, I completely forgot. I, it escaped me that I still had to do the math myself. So I ended up showing up. Um, and I gave him the 160. I said, I'm sorry. I, for some reason, I knew that this was going to happen, but I thought I was preventing it, but apparently I didn't. He's just like, well, you drove all this way, so he handed me a 20 back. So I actually only paid 140 for this, um, which is really nice of him to do. But that kind of goes to show he probably would have gone lower on the machine, but I wasn't going to haggle because I wanted it. But then when he tr let me try it on his garage floor, um, the brush roll sounds really slow. I don't know if this is a belt drive model. I kind of feel like it is. It is over here, I think. And it's just got a little twist off thing, two of them. Um, semi stiff bristles. It must be a belt drive model because it doesn't have a thick, chunky brush. Kind of sounds a little rough. And it says it's a quiet performance or quiet force, and I don't think it's all that quiet. But we will give it a go. <laughs> Might need a new belt. So there's like air blowing out. It must have a separate, um, okay, yeah. So it's not a clutch system. It has its own independent brush bar motor in it, which I should have known for the belt, um, or the overload protector reset, which is probably just the brush roll motor and not the main motor, um, and it doesn't have a blow-off valve either. It does have a clean-out port, but it's not a blow-off valve. But, um, so it is pretty quiet. The exhaust air must come out somewhere around there. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. So the exhaust air escapes from around here. Um, and I doubt we picked up any dirt and I am not taking the bag off. <laughs> That's too much of a pain. Um, but the inside of the bag door is very clean. So it was well taken care of. And I do believe that it was minimally used, but that, that awful sound from the brush roll is really annoying. That does not make it quiet at all. Um, this is just one of those kind of machines that I kind of wanted to have. Um, and these are the ones that get me into trouble <laughs> because I don't need them in a s kind of more of a desired thing rather than a need thing. And now that I have it, it's not a bad performer, but I'm not overly wowed by it or anything. And I might actually do a review or a comparison of this against my Hoover or my Hoover, geez, my Kenmore Elite. You know, why not? I mean, they're pretty much the same innards or whatever. And I'd say the... 
this is a little quieter, but the Elite is a little more high pitch. So I will do another video here soon, but I got to cut this one short. Ask questions if you want. Bye. Hello, everybody. Um, it seems like I'm posting a lot of videos lately, and it's because I am. Um, I have another machine that I just recently stumbled across. Um, and I guess I should probably point out, in one of my previous videos, I said I can be irresponsible. I get irresponsible. I always pay my bills. I have money and things like that when I need it. But um, I get a little irresponsible when I see something that I really want and I know that I can afford it. But in all honesty, I don't. In all honesty, I don't need it. Um, and that happens to be a lot of vacuum cleaners. And uh, there's a machine that I've wanted for a little while now that I just have not purchased because it was, you know, a little pricey, um, and it really wasn't super important that I ever owned one, but I wanted one before they stopped selling them. And it happens to be, um, a machine that popped up on Craigslist. Um, every once in a while I pop on there and see that's, um, how I got my SIBO. Um, my SIBO was an estate sale machine, and it had only been used twice, um, and I ended up getting that for $150. And I'm a big, um, sorry, I just like to feel this carpet every once in a while. Um, I'm a big Craig, like a deal hunter.